In the flu now, here are the latest developments. The Department of Health announced a little while ago which schools will begin to get the H1N1 vaccines. A computer program randomly selected schools based on size and the amount of vaccine available. The clinics will offer the shots to children in K through 12. The vaccines are free and voluntary, and parents must sign a consent form before their children can be vaccinated. It's a story that continues to develop around the state. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik joins us now live in Providence as she covers the flu. Well, Mike, this is the preliminary list right here, and it may change based on the availability of the vaccine that comes here to Rhode Island. The first clinic, we're told, in schools is set for November 2nd. The Department of Health says the list of schools to get the H1N1 vaccine done by computer at random. Among the first up, St. Rocco in Johnston, Alfred Lima in Providence, and Old County in Smithfield. Some of the last on the list, Classical High School in Providence, Ritchie Middle in North Providence, and Situate High School. We thought that was the fairest and uh, uh, most fair way. It allowed us to match uh, the uh, type of schools with the amount of vaccine we're getting. No special treatment given to the 50 or so schools with H1N1 outbreaks. It allows us to get most of the kids, uh, as many kids as we can, vaccinated in the shortest period of time. 15,000 vaccines expected to be given out in the first week alone, but the Department of Health says after that, supply may change the schedule. If we have to suspend them because we don't get enough from the federal government, we'll have to suspend them. But and back live here tonight, we do know that the consent forms have already been mailed home to all parents. The child is supposed to bring those consent forms to their vaccination clinic. If you did not get one, we have those on our website at WPRI.com. We also have the full, complete list of schools. Reporting live tonight with the Providence Mobile Newsroom outside the Department of Health, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News. Eyewitness